Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an issue with Excel that it says that the file is corrupted and cannot be opened. So this could definitely be an annoying issue. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys on how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. So we're going to start by right clicking on the file itself that we're having problems with. And then you want to go and left click on properties. So once you've left click on properties there, you might have a section underneath attributes that says security, this file came from another computer and might be blocked to help protect this computer. There'll be a box that says unblock. You want to check mark inside the box that says unblock and then left click on apply and OK. Once you're done doing that, then if you went back in and checked the properties that like I just showed you, you shouldn't have any options under here. So hopefully that would resolve the issue. Now if it didn't, you're more than welcome again to open up the start menu. We're going to go underneath Excel. We're going to actually open up the application itself. And it might take a moment up here. And then I'm going to go up to the file tab in the top left. I'm going to left click on Options. I'm going to left click on Trust Center. And then I'm going to left click on Trust Center Settings. Now you want to go underneath the area that says Protected View. So left click on that one time. You want to uncheck these options. Now I would suggest re-enabling them once you're done checking the specific file if you know it's a safe file. But in just in terms of getting around the specific error message if you're running into an issue and you really need to access this file, that's all you have to do hopefully and just left click on OK. And then I would go ahead and try and open up the Excel file again and hopefully that has worked for you. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.